Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to show you how you can download events uh, that are aired on ESPN Plus using Streamlink. Now, obviously, uh, for this, you need to have a subscription to ESPN Plus in order to do that. And the reason is because uh, when you go to download these, the Streamlink command is going to be slightly different than the one I've been using for uh, the main ESPN events you know like ESPN, ESPN2, or ESPN3 or those kind of things because uh, there is if you see the um, basically the command line here there's a little extra bit that you have to add and <clears throat> um, it's basically dash dash HTTP dash header and then inside quotes you type authorization equals and then after that equal sign you know right here I'm gonna paste um, a string of characters that you have to get from the um, network tab of the developer tools just like we have to copy and paste the URL we also have to copy and paste this key um, this authorization key in order to get it uh, to work and download it otherwise it gives you an error okay so I've got my notepad open um, with the various files. I've also got the command prompt open. I've navigated again to the directory where Streamlink is located. I'm at the Watch ESPN page, so I'm just going to go to Schedule and Replays. Now I'm going to choose ESPN Plus. There's no live events, so I'll just go to and um, go to Replays to download something that previously aired. And I'm just going to pick something short, um, so it doesn't take as long to download. I'm going to uh, pick Sports Nation from yesterday, half-hour program. Click the three dots, go to more tools to bring up the developer tools. And again, make sure I'm on the network tab, and I've got M3U8 already highlighted in the um, <clears throat> box. So that'll give us the URL, and then after that, I'll show you how to get the key. So first, we have to wait for the program to load. And this one, the URL is going to be slightly different. Notice that it starts; um, it has a different uh, URL. It has a different address to it. So I'm going to try that first one at the top there. I'm going to paste that. And now, in the box up here, I have to type. Uh, wait. Yes, dust. Okay, and then once I do that, I have to scroll down. Let's make this a little bit larger. Okay, and notice so on this first one it didn't have it. I'm looking for a thing where it says authorization and then it's got a giant string of characters that stretches over many lines. So the second one actually does have it. So down here, under request headers. Notice here it says authorization. It starts with an EY. So I want to copy basically this whole thing. <clears throat> okay, and it copied and pasted that whole value, starting with the EY and the many characters of text, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now that I got both those pasted, I should be able to go ahead, copy this, go in here. and start downloading the file. So it's taken a while to start, and if you notice also what came up for the available streams, it only had best and worst. So that's actually a hint that it did not select the correct uh, URL, because uh, instead we should expect to see the different actual numerical options. That's the one we want for the M3U8 file. So let me go back here and see if I can find... you know, a better URL which will grab us the highest quality file. And 
and see this actually gave an error it couldn't open the stream so okay let's try now this other this next m3 u8 and a lot of this involves trial and error so now I just have to let's make sure I copy and paste this correctly let's see here okay so here's where the URL starts and here's where it ends so now Okay, so now it's still giving me best or worst, but at least um, it has now started, and you can see it's you know it's downloading the program. And again, this is a replay, so uh, it'll take a little time, but it shouldn't take that much time because, like I said, it's only you know a 30-minute program. And again, the full this video will be edited, so you don't have to sit here and wait for the entire thing to download. Okay, so now the download is done, so I'm just going to navigate to the FFmpeg directory. Just go ahead, convert the file to an MKV. And then once that's done, uh, we'll go ahead and play it just to test it out to make sure that everything's correct. Okay. So let me go ahead, stop the main file here. I'll go ahead and play the file. Okay, so we have a thing. It's about 29 and a half minutes long. Looks like we got the full file. Let me just turn on the sound. This 34-year-old man. So you should hear the sound coming through now. I feel it in the throat. <laughs> it, Are you okay? Like, I'm okay. I'll be okay. okay. It's and because just jumping ahead. Okay. Listen, you know, should Georgia win, and I think they will. Took flight for you. Well, Arda, so because we're not going to eat peppers. I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> Looks like we got <laughs> on that uh, note, full episode. We're going to not eat the peppers. Download ESPN Plus events. Uh, you basically need two things. You need to grab the URL, and in addition to that, um, so that's similar to downloading regular ESPN events. You also need to paste a key. That key goes after, you know, this dash dash HTTP dash header um, code and then quote authorization equals. Then you paste the long gigantic key. Sorry, it stops right around here. And then, of course, an end quote uh, to match the authorization part. And again, that key comes from putting in dust on the... Uh, network tab under the developer tools. So again, where I would type here, where I had previously typed in M3U8, you just type in dust, and then usually 202 is the status we want. So the first one's 204. That's not the correct one, but all these 202s, um, where the type is XHR, you know, we just get that, and then go ahead uh, and scroll down. There you go, and like look for the value again down here under authorization under request headers.